Hello friends, welcome to my channel again. Uh, this tutorial we will see how to uh, perform uh, land use land cover classification using ArcGIS Pro. Uh, in this tutorial we will see uh, the pixel based image classification following the image classification wizard. Here I have uh, added my image uh, Sentinel 2 uh, B level 1 satellite image. 10 meter resolution I have added the four bands 10 meter resolution you can change the appearance of the image uh, by using different band combination here under appearance window uh, you have natural color uh, color infrared for example we may have this kind of uh, image the darker green red showing the vegetated or uh, dense vegetation area and uh, you can use uh, RGB or true color composition so uh, in this tutorial we will see uh, similar things that we, we will do on our uh, desktop or Airdas Imagine or any other um, open source software so uh, select your image and uh, go to imagery under this we have uh, classification wizard in the classification tool uh, classification wizard will help for uh, objectivist or object oriented image classification here uh, there are uh, eight steps in order to complete this image classification we will start by classifying or by uh, selecting the most commonly used classification method which is supervised or unsupervised and then the next uh, selection will be classification time which is based on object or based on pixel or pix pixel based and object based image classification and uh, you need to add uh, classification schema or uh, representative or training samples so before starting this uh, classification wizard you need to create this classification schema so but uh, this uh, we will see this in the next tutorial but for now uh, I have uh, prepared how to classification um, how to classify an image using this classification tool so uh, the first step as we know in, in AirDAS or in JS uh, desktop uh, is creating training samples or representative samples for each uh, classification or class land use classes so uh, from this image i'm going to classify uh, this image into five classes uh, these are dense vegetation built up area farmlands and uh, grasslands and also around this i have uh, wetlands or flooded area this one so first we need to determine total number of classes so i have uh, decided to classify this image into uh, five broad classes so uh, um, the next we will uh, see how to create uh, training samples or representative samples for these uh, five broad classes so uh, come to imagery first you have to select your image and the uh, classification tool from this uh, go to training sample manager here is image segmentation for object oriented image classification we will see this in the next tutorial for now we will uh, go with training sample manager or which is pixel based image classification so this window will uh, appear here classification or image classification window uh, here we have a schema which is a default schema which is natural a national land cover database which is created in 2011 it has these classes water body developed barrel land forests under forest there are deciduous uh, evergreens or mixed forests and the shrub lands herbicans planted or cultivated lands and wetlands so if you are okay with these classes you can use this, this is a default schema unless and otherwise you need to create your own schema so to create a new schema come here 
in the create new schema yeah this is uh, our new schema you need to modify this and right click on it and edit property you can rename your schema i'm going to rename it as new schema by ab and you can give the organization description of the schema and i'm going to leave this blank and save it so uh, next tax will be creating the new classes within this uh, schema so right click on it and add new class and uh, give the class name forest will be i'm going to re rename it as forest forest land and the value class value of this will be zero one you can change the color and the alliance descriptions also can be added uh, about this class name again right click on your schema add class i have also developed develop land class value zero two i'm going with red voices again add class give a name which is for this farmland yeah. farmland 03 value and you can go with appropriate color my next class will be grasses or grassland and uh, we'll go this color for this yeah give the class value yeah so uh, next i will add one class which is wetland i can say it wetland or flooded land mm, class id will be five we'll go with this yeah yeah i have uh, created this uh, five classes and uh, my next stack will be next stack will be uh, selecting or uh, creating training samples or representative samples for each uh, broader classes so select your class and uh, pick uh, from these tools for example you can take this circle in the for forest lands select exact representative sample here i am going to show you for tutorial purpose for real work you need to take uh, into consideration you have to uh, select representative sample carefully but for this tutorial i'm going to show you the steps so i'm randomly selecting the uh, training samples so as you know as you select uh, many number of samples your classification accuracy will be higher so try to select maximum number of classes for each class and from the entire part of the image this is to consider uh, the whole classification yeah i have uh, selected all this much so select them together in the collapse into one class this is for forest again for drop develop land come in the select the build tapes uh, i'm just selecting roughly you need to use different band combination and you need to use your pair knowledge in order to select these pixels as these classes yeah this is enough for me and select them in the collapse to one class yeah next is farmlands farmland i know 
uh, around this these are farmlands for this area there is also cultivated land i'm going to select them together so cultivated in the farmland uh, yeah this part is also farmlands we will see how to automatically uh, select or uh, detail this farmland using QGIS software using a map flow uh, plugin in the next video for now i'm just selecting roughly and also there is farmland around this uh, this part is farmland uh -huh, you know. Next grassland. I know this part is grassland. This is grassland. This is also grass. These are grasses. Yeah, this is enough for me. Collapse them. The first one, flooded land, or this is, if you change this uh, appearance to the uh, color fluorid, yeah, this color is, shows turbid water. Yeah. This is also. This is enough for me. Select them. Collapse. Yeah. We have finished our uh, training sample selection. So next you need to save this to your directory. I'm going to save this in my folder. Here is I have created this before. Again I'm going to rename it here. New schema by AB shape file you, you need to give this uh, extension save it yeah it is saving the data I already saved already saved so uh, we are done with this our next stacks will be uh, classifying this image by using the previously created uh, schemas to do so again come to imagery uh, classification tools and the classify yeah this uh, image classification uh, windows is open here in this we have different classification uh, algorithms um, starting from iso and maximum likelihood random tree k means or k nearest neighborhood support vector machine so i'm going with this support vector machine this is the most widely used classifier and here uh, you need to add the training samples representative samples which is created here so i am in my uh, folder uh, but it is not here so you need to rephrase this one yeah it is here new sample no schema by AB select your uh, sample and add it to your uh, training samples so next is maximum number of samples per class so if you have a good internet as you know uh, ArcGIS Borrow needs to connect connected with internet in order to uh, perform the classification or any other uh, GIS analysis so you can use maximum number of samples per classes and it requires you um, longer time to complete the image classification tax but for now i am showing you for the training purpose and i'm going with 20 only but for real work you need to take or you need to uh, use maximum number of the samples per classes so here also you can add a segmented image by using this image segmentation but for now i am leaving it 
specify your uh, output location and run your model yeah this may take a longer time yeah 50 percent are completed but the next 50 percent will take much more time and i'm going to pause the video and i will come back yeah uh, classification is completed here so you can do further investigation or your uh, final uh, classification uh, map mm. so uh, you need uh, to take care when you select your uh, representative samples or training samples for each class it somewhat looks like real for me you need to do the accuracy assessment in order, to, in order to evaluate your classification so this is a rough classification for detailed classification you need to take the ground truths for a greater uh, mesh classification so this is all about today's lesson in the next lesson we will see how to use image segmentation or how to segment an image for object oriented image classification so uh, this is all about today's lesson uh, thank you very much don't forget to subscribe to my channel again thank you for your time goodbye